Hey guys, my name is Tere and tonight we're going to be doing the fingerprinting experiment activity. So all you'll need is a fine powder. Uh, I used cornstarch. This one's really easy and really cheap. Uh, you can use any kind of powder. Uh, you need a soft brush, a soft like powder brush. Uh, I recommend like uh, medium sized ones. You don't want it too big or too small. Uh, and then you need some clear tape. Uh, you can use any brand or any kind you want, once again. Uh, and then you can go ahead and find any kind of household object or item. Today, I'm just going to be using uh, my compact mirror. You can pick any object you'd like. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this mirror off just because I want to get the specific print that I'm going to put on there. So what you can do is you can take your fingers and run them through your hair. This helps to get some oils on your fingers so that you can lay a clean fingerprint down. Uh, your skin produces a whole bunch of oil every day, so you can just kind of steal some from other areas for a little sec bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingers now and I'm gonna firmly press against my mirror, like so. Uh, do a couple different ones, just, just in case. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can see some of the prints on there. Okay, so um, now I have some powder in, oh, have some powder in this little jar thing here. Uh, we can go ahead and take our fluffy brush here and just kind of roll it over in there. Okay, and then we can take our powder and just kind of tap along the edges here. So what this is going to do is this is going to stick to the oils that came from our fingers. This oil and the powder mixed together are going to allow us to pick that fingerprint up with some tape here. So I can use some tape here and I can go ahead and press it against one of these prints here. So I'm just going to go for this one right here. And you just kind of want to gently push it in there so you can get a clean print on there. Pick it up by the edges here. And you have the print and the fingerprints gone. Then you can take it and you can put it right onto um, black paper. <clears throat> works really well. So you can put it on a piece of black paper so that way you're able to see it more. You can make out the shapes here. And you can go around your house and you can match uh, the prints you've picked up together. And you can see who's been touching what around your house. Um, do this with your parents' permission, of course. Um, so yeah, they are able to get your fingerprint because it sticks to powder. And they're able to take this powder and get your fingerprint up. And then they can take this print and they can put it in their system, their computer system and then they can track it and they can find whoever they're looking for from the crime scene where their fingerprint was found. That is it for this experiment. Um, you can go ahead and practice this on any kind of paper you want, any kind of objects you want. Um, most importantly, just have fun with it. Thank you. Have a good night.